St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by three donors. The first is a parishioner at St. Timothy's Parish in North York, Ontario. The second is a donor from Scarborough, Ontario, for the intention of family, friends, and herself. The third donors are Art and Ursula Klassen from Humboldt, Saskatchewan. They offer this Mass for the living and deceased members of the Klassen and Reinholdt families. On behalf of all of the faithful gathered here across Canada for this celebration, we thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters in Christ, today let us ask God to hear our prayers and our petitions, but most importantly, let us humbly ask God to heal us of our sins and failings. Lord Jesus, you were sent by the Father to heal us. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you built us into living stones. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to seek out the lost. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Father, through the obedience of Jesus, your servant and your son, you raised a fallen world. Free us from sin and bring us the joy that lasts forever. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Peter. Like newborn infants, you should long for the pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow into salvation if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. Come to him, a living stone, though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Beloved, I urge you as aliens and exiles to abstain from the desires of the flesh that wage war against the soul. Conduct yourselves honorably among the Gentiles so that Though they malign you as evildoers, they may see your honorable deeds and glorify God when he comes to judge. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Come with the joy in 
The Lord be with you. And also A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. And also you. Jesus and his disciples came to Jericho. As he and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he crowd out, cried out even more loudly, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, call him here. And they called the man who was blind, saying to him, take heart, get up, he is calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. Then Jesus said to him, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, My teacher, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has made you well. Immediately Bartimaeus regained his sight and followed Jesus on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. 